and one of the articles that I wrote recently was titled The Absurdity of David Wilbur's Mutual Submission Position, and I stand by that as you will see today. But in their response, what was astounding, the absolutely astounding claim that Wilbur and McKee make. In what sense has he, do we dare say, submitted himself to the assembly? Well, Philippians 2 verses 5 through 11 say what he has done in his yep. act of submission to the assembly. Yep. And that is his mm -hmm. willingness to give up his exalted status in heaven, come to planet Earth, be incarnated as a mortal, and then experience a humiliating death on a Roman cross for our sins. That is how Messiah has submitted to the ecclesia. With saying that Messiah Yeshua, Christ, was in submission to the church, the ecclesia, the assembly, when he came and took on flesh and went to the cross, submitting himself even unto death. And so what we want to talk about, we want to look at what the passage actually says, and we want to understand where they get their idea for mutual submission, and we want to understand why that is wrong, it's incorrect, it's never taught in Scripture. In fact, what they do is they take Paul and flip him on his head and use him to promote an ideology that they have that is rooted in feminism. 